In this video, we're going to learn how to count the occurrences of a value in a list using recursion in Python. So let's create a list of numbers called numbers, and we'll set numbers equal to the list 4142. So the number 4 occurs twice in this list. Let's create a function to solve this problem using recursion. We'll call the function count, and the function is going to accept the list and the value to count as arguments. So of the parameters LST for the list and value for the value. Now to solve this problem using recursion, we'll have the function repeatedly call itself with a smaller version of the same problem to be solved. And each time the function is called, it's going to solve part of the problem. So if the first item in the list is equal to the value that we're looking for, then we found an occurrence of that value where the first item in the list is going to be at the index zero. So because we found an occurrence of the value, we're going to return one for that occurrence plus the number of occurrences of that value in the remaining portion of the list. And we'll call count again to obtain that count. So we'll call count and we'll pass it the remaining portion of the list as an argument. We'll have here LST and then one colon. So this here is the slicing operator. It's going to give us the remainder of this list after the first item in the list. Then we'll also pass in value. So we'll have value here. So altogether, if the first item in the list is equal to the value that we're looking for, then we're going to return one for that occurrence plus the count of the number of occurrences of that value in the remaining portion of the list. Now, if we don't find that the first item in the list matches the value that we're looking for, then we're just going to return the count of the number of occurrences of that value in the remaining portion of the list. So again, we'll have count called with list with one colon using the slicing operator and then value. So as of now, the recursion is going to look like this when count is called with our numbers list and the value four as arguments. We'll have count is called with the list 4142 and the value 4. Now in this case here, our value 4 matches the first item in the list. So the function is going to return 1 plus count called with the remaining items in the list 142. So we'll have here count returns 1 plus count called with the list 142 and the value 4. Now this time 4 does not match the first item in the list. So this call to count is going to result in a call to count with the remaining items of the list four and two. So we'll have here that this call to count just results in count being called with the list four two and the value four. Now again, the value four matches this first item in the list four. So this time we're going to return one plus count called with the remaining items in the list, which this time is just going to be two. So now we'll have this call to count results in one plus count called with the list containing two and the value four. Now again, four does not match this first item in the list two. So we're just going to return count called with the remaining items in the list, which this time is going to be empty. So we'll have count called with the empty list just count and then the empty list and the value four now eventually the recursion needs to stop and the function needs to stop calling itself we'll do that when the list is empty we'll just return the value zero in this case so up here we'll have if not lst which is going to be true if the list is empty in that case we're just going to return zero and notably, even if the function was initially called with an empty list as an argument, returning zero would be correct because the value can't occur any times in an empty list. We'll turn this into an else if case, and now our function is complete. So down here, this call to the function is going to return zero. And we can see how the function is going to return the right value as all these function calls return. So this function call here is going to return the value zero. And this function call here is going to return the value zero. Then this function call here is going to return one plus zero, which is going to be one. 
then this function call here is going to return one. That means this function call here is going to return one plus one, which is going to be two, which is correct. Let's output the return value of calling count using print and we'll save our program and try it out. And we do get a count of two here, which is correct. Now it's fine to solve this problem using recursion for learning about algorithms and academic purposes, but we wouldn't want to use it in a real program because recursion would be an inefficient way to solve this problem. So this is how we can count the occurrences of a value in a list using recursion in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.